Gemini, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Gemini placement you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is all linked and listed in the description below. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we are jumping right in, Gemini. Second week in a row where your shuffle's been very quiet. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Your first card out is the Two of Pentacles. Indecisiveness. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Okay. Yeah. Three of Swords. What else do we have for Gemini, please? There's definitely some sort of decision making, whether this is you or someone else you are connected to energetically. Um, there has been some decision making, whether you are aware of it or not. Someone's been trying to make a decision here, and it does look like someone's going to get hurt some sort of loss it's going to create some sort of loss either way either way the, the decision is made that there is going to be some sort of loss here guidance some of you could be going through this presently you could be the one making a decision or someone has recently made it made a decision in regards to you that doesn't feel so good but um at least it ends the back and forth okay let's see got a lot here Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Two Eights, Eight Eight could be significant for you. Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Wow, that's a lot. Whoa, that's a lot going on. Bottom of the deck is the Emperor Aries energy. Okay, so no doubt, absolutely, there is something that is going to come to an end here. You have the Ten of Wands, the World card. Um. Something that was most likely stagnant. Yeah. See, two of pentacles and the eight of swords. Definitely someone was very stuck, could not make a decision, needing to make a decision. Knew that they had to make a decision, but could not make a decision because they knew once this decision is made, somebody's going to get hurt. Either way, either way, hurt's going to happen. But it looks like it becomes too heavy and the decision might be uh, getting ready to be made here. Ten of wands, that's burden energy. This is This is something that is weighing very heavy on someone. Whatever decision that needs to be made, it's keeping them stuck, confirmed with the hangman, non-movement, but it's also become very heavy. Looks like the decision is going to be made because you're going from the Ten of Wands to the Eight of Wands, which speaks of communication. Somebody's finally de deciding and communicating. And it is going to create some sort of drama here. We have the Five of Wands. It's all about drama, all about conflict, competition. But I am getting conflict and drama. But at least it's relieving some of this heaviness going from the five to, to going from the ten of wands to the five. Someone's taking actions, taking control and communicating something, releasing them from this ten of wands, releasing them from the eight of swords, releasing them from the two of pentacles. It does look like someone wants to. Um, it's like, yeah, it, very much getting like someone's choosing either between two people. Right? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Cups going towards this Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if this Queen of Pentacles is the one that's in this Nine of Swords energy. Has been stressed. Because this is all about stress. The Nine of Swords. Very much stressed. Not knowing what's going on. But it looks like someone is communicating that they finally left something behind. So someone could be going back to their baby mama. Someone could be going back to their wife. Someone could be choosing between two people and committing to one. Because the Queen of Pentacles is usually committed. Usually the mother or spouse. But definitely choosing to leave something behind here with the world card and the ten of wands. It looks like this person didn't want to leave this behind because you can tell by the body language. She's looking back, but her body's moving forward. Also fixed energy. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius and Scorpio could be important to you. But this stagnancy needs to be released or whatever information or whatever. Um, whatever idea was needed to make a decision looks like has been someone has got the clarity that they need. In order to make some sort of decision. A lot going on here. Definitely, yeah, definitely to do with something. Someone definitely could have went back to their past. Finally made a decision to go back to their past. With the Six of Cups. Try to start over or rekindle or, you know, however, whichever side you're on. This could be you that is making a decision. That could be someone that's either making a decision about you and someone else. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. If it don't fit, leave it alone. 
but that's very much what's going on here. Before the new year too. Before the new year, or by the new year with that full, with that um, world cards. Yeah, decision time. It's a hard decision, but someone's doing it because they can't take the burden of it anymore. They can't handle the weight. Guidance for Gemini, please, if this is a romantic situation. There's definitely somebody that's not going to be happy once this decision is made. Yeah, I told you, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And we also have trust at the bottom of the deck. We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And I also see separation. So deception, trust, and separation. Some of you might be the Queen of Pentacles. And someone's been acting real weird. But they could be deciding to leave something else to sort of focus on you or vice versa. Because I definitely see a separation here, but it is saying for you to trust. Either way, even if they're not choosing you, still trust. Because rejection is protection. Because this person could be deceiving you, however it goes. Either way it goes. Whether they're choosing someone else or choosing you, either way to trust. Because it's happening exactly how it should. And that's on period. Because you don't want someone that was juggling you and someone else anyways. Or maybe it's something else. Some of, some of you to work. You know. Time for healing. Balsamic moon. Time for healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty self-explanatory. Someone's going to have to heal once this truth is spoken. Once this truth is spoken. Yeah, someone's going to try and make it work with a past situation. Making a decision. This one flipped out. That's too many. Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty, Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. So some of you, this mystic teacher, priestess, some of you intuitively knew this was going on. This is what the Nine of Swords is about. Keeping you up at night, anxiety. Something was telling you something was off here. And you'd be right. You would, you would be right. And I think you're going to see. You're going to see whatever it is you haven't been seeing, you're going to see. Because I do get someone hasn't been seeing something here. We have that blindfold energy. Something was not seen, but it, it will be seen. Or it also could be you didn't want to see it. You can recover from anything. Your resilience is unmatched. Yeah. So for some of you, someone's choosing to work something out in their past. Might not be you. They're choosing to fix a past situation. To give it another chance. To give it another go. Guidance. And you've been feeling, you've been feeling. Yeah, the conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. I think we're actually, I'm actually filming this either on a full moon or I think there's a full moon coming up sometime in Cancer, right? I don't know. Don't quote me. I don't do the stars, but you're going to find out. This is basically confirmation. Whatever it is you're not aware of or you're not seeing or you're avoiding to see, it's going to be so loud in your face that it's going to be on, you're, you're going to be unable to ignore it. But it's going to release you. It's going to put you where you need to be or allow you to be free of something. And then you can start your healing. But trust that it is happening for a reason. It's almost like you dodged a bullet because these eight of wands could definitely be you dodged a bullet. Okay, what else are we missing? Do we have an animal oracle? Nope. Guys, return please. Guys, return back, please. They're very much giving you dodge the bullet with that deception energy. Someone's been lying, no doubt. Watch your words, number 45, which is a nine, all about completion. So something is definitely going to be said. Something is going to be spoken and claim your independence. This is at the bottom of the deck, number 13. Interesting. Very interesting. Claim your independence. So very much could be a breakup here. Might, you might not want to leave, but it's for the best. If that is a situation that you are dealing with. You might not want to let go of a situation, but there is deception here. And you've been willingly kind of playing a blind eye to something here. But it's all going to come to a, 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 a boiling point or a head. This tells me it's all going to come to a head. Before the end of the year, it seems. All right, Gemini, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.